Hi, my name is Samantha Nelson and I'm co-founder and vice president of the Hope of Survivors. We recently had the opportunity to attend the general conference session in St. Louis, Missouri, following are a few clips from that experience. Good afternoon, we're here at the general conference session in St. Louis, Missouri, exhibiting with the Hope of Survivors and as you can see there are just thousands and thousands of people here. We've been really blessed to be here. We've been able to give away, I don't even know how many thousands of brochures into countries all around the world, DVDs, we've been able to pray with people and minister to those who are hurting from pastoral sexual misconduct. We've also been able to send home information for those who have friends and family members who are going through situations as well. I think that Hope of Survivors is a very important ministry because I've had two dear friends who were abused by the same Adventist educator. And I know that this ministry helped one of them. And so I want to say thank you to Hope of Survivors for being there for my friends and giving them just the right information at the right time to help with their healing. I really, really appreciate Hope of Survivors because for years I've been in ministry and the nature of my ministry, music and seminars, really um, tends to draw a lot of people who've been hurt in one way or another. And of course, a large percentage of those people are women and a large percentage of those women are women who have suffered some kind of sexual abuse and not a small percentage, unfortunately, of those women who have suffered sexual abuse have been abused by clergy. And so I'm glad that these people understand that and that they go about that in a very judicious, tactful, Christ-centered way um, so that more harm isn't done, but that some of the harm is healed. We've reached thousands of individuals with our materials. We've taken our literature to a lot of uh, conference officials for this church and many other denominations, I believe, will benefit from this. As the material and information gets out there, we will see, we pray, God's hand leading and stopping clergy sexual abuse in all countries, but awareness is the first step. And of course, we hope that healing will be brought too to the victims as well. And this ministry is inspiring to me because they took a lemon, they got hurt, and they made a lemon, lemonade out of it. And they're really fulfilling the first chapter of 2 Corinthians, which says that we should comfort others with the same comfort that we would, were comforted with of God. So they found comfort in God when they were hurt, and now they're sharing that comfort with others. And I, that's in and of itself is inspiring to me.